Welcome, 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 everybody, to another Let's Play. We are going to be playing Arcana Rising tonight, and we are joined by a special guest who has not been on a Let's Play with us before, and that is Phil of Philzy Media. That would be me. I'm here to play some Arcana Rising. Yep, yes. I had to <laughs> check, check the name of the game, Arcana Rising. Yes, Arcana Rising. He is a fellow member with myself on the East Coast Card Crew, and we, you know, like card games and all that kind of stuff. Flesh and Blood is our current obsession. Yeah, Flesh and Blood is great, but this game looks cool, too. <laughs> Very different kind of game, but, you know, it does have cards, so that makes it a kind of a card game. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a drafting mechanic, too, which, and you love drafts, don't you? I do. Yeah. Drafting is my favorite thing in card yeah. games. So you get to do some drafting today. Absolutely. And so I am Jeremy of King's Entertainment Reviews, also known as The Joker, and I am joined by The Panda. What's up? Of also King's Entertainment Reviews, also known as Elaine. Hi. <laughs> she gets introduced as The Panda first, then she gets her real name. Thanks, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing this game. We're not going to be going over the rules outside of like maybe talking about them here and there because i trust that all of you have already seen my how to play and review video that's already up on the channel and know how to play the game 100 percent total <laughs> apps yep i've been i've been watching that video day and night yeah absolutely positively well it's not up on the channel yet so you're a liar oh. <laughs> <laughs> as of filming it is not up <laughs> wow but Everybody, it baited me. yes, it baited you into a lie. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our hands. In this first round, we have alchemy and potions as the disciplines that we're able to cast. I doubt anybody's going to be casting on this first, this first little look, just because we have nothing in our tableaus. But maybe, maybe, maybe. I am buying this lovely charm spell with one herbe. What's up, herbes? Oh, do we just take our turn simultaneously? Yep. Okay, cool. And then we pass. We pass to the left for the first two turns and then to the right. Right? I believe. For rounds, it's the first and third round is to the right. Left. Right. Just take a look at the... While we're deciding, we're going to take a look at the rule book um, just to make sure we're passing in the right direction. Wait, so I can either prepare one thing or cast? Yes. Okay. I am debating what I want. You will always pass one last card than you were given. Eh, next to blah, blah, blah. Hi. Um, I am going to do... Uh, one plus half many cards gain two charms. Um, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to pay three resources for it. One, two, and tree back into the supply here. <clears throat> okay. In the first and third rounds, players pass their cards to the left. In the second cool. round, they pass their cards to the right. The round ends when the last card in each hand has been drafted. You've already picked, so it goes to me. Uh, and I am choosing, so I'm going to do... I apologize, everyone, if anybody can hear the air conditioner in the background, because it's dumb hot. So this, and then, what do I do? That's to pay for it, and then that's it, right? Or do I get, no, I don't get this. So you, you, pay, it. you paid for it, so it goes there. So I paid for it. Now this you pick mine. up my cards that I passed to you. Interesting, interesting. Oh, so since the first turn went off, we're going to take those off. We're now casting Herbology and Alchemy, if we decide to cast. And I think I am going to cast this round. What a surprise. Why do uh, you say that? Because you like to cast excessively. You're that kind of guy. I like to You're I like to guy. cast herbs. I like I do like me and my herbs. Oh, don't take my herbs. Shh. I will do as I please. Lay sir. off my herbs. I will do no such thing, sir. I am still deciding. You know what? Decisions are difficult things. They are. 
Uh, I'm going to... All right, I am going to... Pain one potion. Whoa. Oh, we're going all bloody. bloody. Phil's getting bloody on his first trip into this game. That was my downfall my first game. Okay. We tried to warn you, man. All right, so I am going to be casting, which means I'm going to get one herb and then three herbs. So one and then three. And then I'm going to be able to convert one resource into one gold. And I'm going to convert an herb into a gold. Wow. And that's my turn. Now we take these off. And this turn has potions and charms as the disciplines that can be chosen from. Mm, life is not good for the panda. Not I will a I don't have a game plan. Uh, I'm going to just play this. I'm going to actually cast this round. Whoa, that's my discard. You want to move it over to your... No, I want to move it here because it won't be seen over there. I know I I am in the wrong spot for my discard pile, but nobody will be able to see it. Well, no one cares about your discard pile. Excuse me. I care about my discard pile. It's very pretty. Is it? Is it? It's just one lonely little card there, man. I, I, I have my doubts. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to <clears throat> take this card, which doesn't cost me anything. That's I'm going to place there. So I cast. So I gain one charm for here. I have one plus potion card, so I gain another two charms. And then my potion is gain one potion, which is very riveting gameplay right here. Look at me. Whoa. You don't have any potion cards. Shoot. Did the backwards. I mean, Boop. Boop. I can read. I swear. But can did you get your? Did you get your herbs? Oh no, you were casting that. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So now I have potions. Now you're good. So I'm getting this. Where's my? We are this now. Is my pile? Yes, we are we're now. Blood round. Oh, that's what I've been waiting for. You're gonna get all bloody. Um, this is not a good, not a good round for me. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this. I'm going to cast again. Wow, look at you. I am also going to cast. Are you? You seem like you're doubting. I am going to cast. You're casting abilities, I am going to cast. I think I am. Wait, so if I cast, do I get just the bottom most or I get all of them? You get all of them. You You start with the left most. And go down, okay. then you start with then that one, and then so go for down. this, I could spend one resource to gain blood and a victory point. Yes, then, you could. Uh, add a token to this card, then gain one blood token, blood per token on this card. So yes. Just a, a token? Yes. Each turn, they'll keep getting bigger. It'll keep getting more and more. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, and they, these do not count as a resource when they're on their card. Okay. So they don't count as blood. They don't count as blood. They just count as a marker. Which is good because blood is negative. Yes. Okay. But you're going to be getting blood regardless. Yeah. Blood for the okay. blood god. You can move this so you can have your discard pile back. You know, you know what? You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to play way into the uh, thing. So I'm going to pay one gold. and. So not casting. No, not casting. Not, not casting. casting. So I am the only one casting, right? No, I cast oh, too. Oh, you cast so. too? Did you already do it? No. We were waiting for Phil. Okay, so yeah, we were. I get three herbs total. I get four herbs total. Show off, and I get a blood. And then I get a blood. Are all of these kept at the end of the round? Yes. Okay. Cool. Your tableau can carries over. Okay. You're building an engine. This is essentially a deck, a drafting engine building game. Okay, that's good. Good to know. <clears throat> so now I pick up. So these go away now. Yeah. Yes. Um, I am certainly going to cast. Gain two potions. You want to add those to the pile of moons? Let's do this. Yeah. Paying a potion. Taking a card. I don't like this card. What's the point of this card? This, this card discard. sucks. So I'm casting. I'm casting. spending 
I'm spending two herbs in order to uh, buy this card. To get herbalicious definitious. Make the boys go loco. Yeah. Okay. So am I the only one that cast? Uh, yeah. This turn? Okay. So that means I gain a charm yes. or gain one of these, right? Yeah. Uh, and if I have one plus blood arts card, I gain two charms. I do. Whoa. Boom, boom. Boom, uh, boom, boom, boom. Blood arts, I gain one blood. And then I can spend one resource to gain one blood and one victory point. So any resource, right? It's, yes. <laughs> so I can do this to get this plus this. Yes. Okay. This is the one, right? Um, actually, let me see a rule book. I don't think it specifies, but... Because uh. it is random on here. Yes. But... Can't use blood. You cannot use blood to pay the cost. Just oh, like you cannot, says. yeah. Just like you can't do it with alchemy either. Okay, so then I would pay this to gain one blood and a victory point. Yes. Um, and then add a token to this card, then gain one blood per token on this card. They probably do that specifically, so you can't game it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Those game devs ruining your plans. So yeah, a little bit. I am going to draw this, and I am going to place that in my discard, and I am going to cast this turn. So casting does what? It, like on this turn? Does on this target. turn, you get the bottom most card of every category. Oh. I too, I'm going to cast. So, starting with, uh, well, you can decide on that, but I'm going to do two charms. I'm going to get two charms for charms. I'm going to get three herbs. I am going to get one blood. I am going to gain, since I have three plus cards in my discard, I am going to get one victory point. And then I'm going to be able to convert one blood to one gold. So I can't do my potion things. I can gain two herbs. I can gain one blood. I can gain one potion. I don't have enough blood to do the gold exchange. I have busted out my first big resource marker. Whoa. Just to let everybody know, I don't know if I said this while we were on stream or on capture or not, but these are Kickstarter exclusive pieces. And these, so are these for tracking the victory points. They normally come with little cardboard pieces, but I heard that I think you can get them on grayfox.com. I believe you can get the extra pieces for an extra cost. So Kickstarter exclusive when it comes to coming with the game. I am going to play this. So You're going to get that? Blood. I did not understand that card. So, so I, I pay two blood. My understanding is I get two potions, and then... You get two potions. You discard the card if it has a token on it, and then you yeah. add a token if it does so not right. have. Yeah, so if it doesn't, I get one token. So basically, it's a one-time use thing. Yeah. Um, but you're getting two potions, which is nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna right. Oh no, I don't get that this turn. Okay, so now That's what we're going to do is we're going to advance to the next round. We're going to deal out the level two cards. And I am going to start putting these out, starting from the back, dealing them randomly out of the bag. The randomness bag. Well, it's not looking so random so far. Hey, there's the randomness. Blood. Blood for the blood god. There's more blood. More blood. Can I look? Yes. Yes. Herbology. Herbology. Okay, what are we looking at here? Um, this doesn't look like a... Wow. Okay, I gotta go with this one. Gotta go with this one. Gotta go to Mo's. Modell. Well, so I'm okay. paying three charms. Sorry, paying, paying three charms to get this herbology card. 
How about this alchemy card with two blood and two herbs? Um, I'm trying to figure out. We, we pass in the opposite direction. So. Oh, yes, yeah. we do. Um, so, you. so, okay, so random resources I can never pay for with blood? No, no, just that situation. you can't pay for a blood cost saying, with blood. Okay. That, okay. I would. I didn't read through the whole thing, but I would imagine it means you cannot pay a random resource with the resource that you're... And this doesn't count as a resource. That does not count as a resource. Um, in that case, what I'm... Get it, Josh. Is Who's Josh? This is Josh. Oh. Josh is buttery. <laughs> We don't say anything else about Josh because we're a family channel. We can't say he's like silky smooth. Jo I mean, Josh is silky smooth. Absolutely. No doubt of that. No, I can't talk about that because the only Josh I know in my life is my uncle. And he glows with the inner heat. <laughs> no? We can't make um, this sound sexy? Jo like Josh has the appearance of lobster butter. <laughs> I'm going to pay Pacey's for not my uncle. He's my cousin. My great cousin, go? second this cousin. Is gold? That is uh, that is an artifact. Okay. So that goes off to the side. You can put it right there. I mean, typically you'd put it over here, oh. but that's fine. So, so it's so actually on camera. Oh, is that like so mine then how do artifacts trigger? They have like a thing at the bottom that says. So yeah, I have the same thing. Yeah, it's it's at the end of the game. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Let me just Here double check. Oh, so then these are gone, right? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to I cast. don't, man. <sighs> cast. I'm casting. I'm casting. I'm casting. What are we doing? No Potion? Reason. It's potions and blood. Yeah. I can't justify casting. Oh, though, potions gets me a victory point. <gasps> Whoa. But I also don't want to pass this one up, so I am going to get. I'm going to pay two herbs to get this artifact here, which will trigger at the end of the game. I paid the uh, golds for seeing. Okay, so I have casted, which means I'm starting from left, right, left to right. So I gain one gold. I can spend one resource, uh, gain one blood, sorry. Spend one resource to gain one blood and one victory point. Uh, and... Uh, add a token to this card, then gain one blood per token on this card. And then I gain one potion, and then I gain two potions, and get one token on this, so next time this triggers, it gets destroyed, right? Discard this card, yeah. That's sad. Okay. Well, it did its job. It did its job. And now it's useless to me. Okay, now we are looking at alchemy and herbology as the casting disciplines this turn. And as much as I don't really want to, I want to, I want to cast, but I feel like I have to go for this card because it's a good card. So I am going to spend four herbs to buy this card. Spending two potions to buy this one. Oh, look at someone's going heavy in the alchemy. I have no plan. I have no plan. I can see that, considering you have two conversion gold cards that have... Nothing are, on them. That are two ones that have nothing on them. I have not cast. Uh, I'm going to pay three to play Draught of Memory. 
I gain two potions and two victory points if there are seven more cards in my discard pile. Wow. Yeah. So we just moved into the third round. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cast. Dang it, Bobby. I'll wait for you guys before That's I what, charm cast. Charm and herbology? Yeah. Yeah, I got to. I'm going to do it. I'm upset about it, but I'm going to do it. I think I'm. I'm casting. You know what? You're joining the casting party? Well. Gain a charm. I don't have enough potions cards. If you have one plus herbology, gain two charms and a VP. So that I can do. Can I look at my discard pile? Yeah. Herbs, I gain three. I have resources again, folks. It's exciting. Two herbs and a victory point? I'm going to yeah. play this. Uh... Pay two potions for it, and I can add one spell card from my discard to my tableau. Do this just one time and discard this card. Nice. So I'm going to get this. There you go. And then here. Take it or leave it. Or take it. Whatever. <sighs> so now we're in the next night. Fateful night. Blood and gold. Um, I only have two in here. That's not good. I'm going to cast. Wait, do I want to cast that one? I'm going to cast this one. This one, one. I can just play, right? I pay the cost? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to play Conjure Thoughts, which adds one spell card from your left neighbor's discard to your tableau. Do this just one time, then discard the card. Wow. So you're to my left. Yeah. Let's hope this pays off, kids. So this goes in my discard pile. Yeah. Yep. So I've already paid to cast. So this is going to be your card whenever you're ready, friend. I'm not sure, man. I don't know. Well, you're just stacking all the alchemies. I'm all chemical god, don't yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. and then this goes to you, right? Yeah. What's up? Um, My plan oh, I'm not. not. I'm, ups I'm upset here. Okay, so I'm going to pay one charm to play the opposite of what you just played. Yeah. And I'm going to look at your discard and see if I got anything good in here. And in the meantime, I'm going to do my cast. That seems like a good idea, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. So I gain one blood. I can spend one resource to gain one blood and one victory point. That was a baby boy. You put it with the big boys. What? <laughs> oh, whoops. That's okay. Um, it's like, I'm not a big kid yet. <laughs> and then... So I've done this, and then I add to this and gain that many blood. You're very bloody, Oof. Phil. Yeah, that's my goal. You really love the blood god. And then I'm going to spend one resource to gain one gold. Very devoted. Okay. I'll take my I got this artifact. Okay. Sweet. That's incredible. So we're in the last evening. What's up, guys? What up? It's the end of round two. I'm casting. I kind of don't want it, but I'm also going to. Uh, 
I so too am going to cast. That is. So if you have one plus herbergic her her herbology cards, gain two charms and one VP. Gain two herbses. Gain one blood. Gain one potion. Spend two charms, gain two gold. What's up? Okay. I'm, I'm an alchemical god. <laughs> I just went through mine silently. <laughs> nice. I'm not going to go through mine silently. I gain one charm. If I have one plus blood cards, I gain two charms. Wait, wait, wait. It's the last one. Oh, no, night. the last one. So gain three charms and one VP. Even better. Uh, and one victory point. Boom. Um, gain one herb. Or gain one herb and then one herb, right? No, just one. Just one herb. Because you're only triggering the one. Oh, I'm not triggering this. No, it's only the bottom one on the last round. Gotcha. Okay. So game Oh, one this one actually tri triggers every time I cast, so I actually get that one too. Okay. You stink, sir. I add a token and I gain four blood. Uh, oh. Then this doesn't trigger because I don't have enough discards. I only have four. I need seven. Uh, Oof. And then that triggers, so I'm s gladly spending a blood to get some gold. Okay. Okie doke. Okay, doke. This should be discarded. No. Isn't it discarded? Because you have a token it's, on it? It triggers again, but it didn't. Oh. The next time it triggers, it'll go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Into the bag. The tokens go. Amen. I pulled the perfect number of cards. Wow. I feel like magic, magic, magic. Anyway. Uh, ooh. That's your pile I decided. This is my pile decided. I got the magic in me. You can have this pile. Wow. Oh, someone's cheating. <laughs> Why do I bother? Sir? Sir? We got blood two nights in a row. Whoa. And herbology as well. Jeez. I like those nights. <laughs> <laughs> you like the blood nights. Oh, okay, Lord. what am I looking at? They could at be here? a very... Revered order of knights. You don't know. No? Okay. I'll be quiet. <laughs> what? Sorry. You don't want to listen to me. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to pay. Wait, no. Yeah, fine. For blood to. I'm going to buy this alchemical card for five random resources. One, two, three. I don't want to do that. That's not smart. Okay, there is. There's your pile of cards, sir. Oh, this is going... To, I'm passing to Phil. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, I know what I'm doing, actually. Oh, damn. Okay. <clears throat> Five. To play. Summon Eclipse. This says, cast every discipline except your largest. You choose if tied. And I am indeed tied. Between these two. And also charms. What? And charms. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so that means I'm casting this, 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 and this. I'm skipping potions. Cause it's Forget useless. portions. <laughs> yeah. Skipping that potions, yo. So I'm giving this to you again, right? Yeah. Okay. I get beautiful things uh, now, hopefully, maybe. We'll find out. Damn, I have like, I wow. have a, a conflict here because there's a card that I don't want Phil to get. <laughs> but I don't want it. Uh, well, I am going to take my, my semi-cast turn. So I'm going to gain one charm. If I have one or more Blood Arts cards, I gain two charms. Then I gain three charms and a victory point. 
Uh, Does he get the full line with that card? What? Or just the one at the end? Cast every discipline except every discipline. your largest. So everything? Really? Yeah, everything, I yeah, mean, it's a good card. It sounds like it. It's a really good card. Um, All the things. Yeah, then I gain two herbs. So many herbs. I gain one blood. I can spend one resource to get one blood and one VP. And then I'm going to add a token to this card. And gain more blood than I want to have. One. I think Phil has a problem. Actually. We should stage an intervention. This is the one I'm talking about. I think he needs an intervention. Uh, gain one potion. Sadly, I do discard this card. But that actually works out. You could also cast this round. One, two, uh, three, yeah, four, I'm thinking, but five. me casting this round doesn't really benefit me all that much. Um, okay. And then... Yeah, I'm going to cast. I had to bite the bullet till Phil couldn't get that card. <laughs> gain two potions. Oh, so I do gain two potions anyway. From that, I just have to actually discard it this time. I get a victory point for potions, and I get a potion. And then spend a resource to gain gold. And then this triggers every time I cast, so I get two and one victory point. Oh, Jesus. Wait, that's cool. <laughs> I still like some of these. Um, yeah, the one that I had to get rid of was turn four blood into four gold. Oh, we I couldn't allow that. that very much. Uh, that's just that's just hater speak. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't, man. I couldn't let you have it. Uh, Why not? I guess I'm casting this round because I am broke AF. That's all I'm saying. I feel that. Oh God, I have like nothing going on. All right, so that's going there. This is going to go to Jeremy. It's Charms and Blood, so I have one plus Herbology. I get two Charms and one VP, and then one Blood. So here's your pile. Enjoy your pile. This is my pile. Okay, everyone, back in the pile. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Oh, I know what card I don't want you to have. Of course. Yeah. Heaven forbid I get nice things. Well, I don't get nice things, you don't get nice things. Jeremy is the reason you don't have nice things right now. You agreed with him. You could have said, no, let Philip have his nice things. <laughs> and you didn't. That's One, true, two, I guess. Three, four, five, six, Bugger. <laughs> I'm going to cast. Oh, I apologize. Turn. I did not pay the cost for this card. From last um, turn. So that means charm and blood trigger. This is a lot of resources on this card. I'm going to yeah. have to like, pull this down a little. Okay. Um, so what that means is... I gain one charm. I gain two charms. No, no, no. Just bottom. Wait, is it just the bottom? No. If no, I'm it's, casting, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's only the last one that's just the bottom. I'm just upset I didn't get nice things. <laughs> that's all. So uh, I would get three charms and then three more charms and one victory point. So I'm getting six charms. So I'm going to take one small and one large boy. Oh, that means I should also get a charm because I cast. Yeah. I, I have not. I don't know. Uh, and then blood triggers. So I get one blood. I spend one resource to get one blood and a victory point. And then I'm just going to turn this into six. Uh, and then get six blood. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that is my turn. You got a definitely, lot of blood. Definitely yeah. needs an intervention. That's all I'm saying. Bye. Where's my hand? That's my hand. Where's my hand? No. This was the one I was passing to Phil. Well, I had one passed to me here. I have four cards in this hand. Oh, I have three, so I already took mine. I'm, I, was, I was ahead. Oh, so you're, you already <laughs> played you your are, turn. Okay. You're bugger. Bugger. Oh, God, I don't bugger. want this either. Oh. I don't want to cast on this turn because that's a lot more blood than I want in my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching the blood limit. <laughs> Getting just too bloody. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Ein minute bitte. Casting. Oh, but that's really good. 
three herbs. I like a lot of these, so I think I'm cool with letting y'all rock with whichever one you let me have at the end. Because I'm getting... This is going to be the cart, the hand I get last. Okay, I'm going to spend six blood, boom boom, to play Summon Temporal Rift. So I can cast one discipline of my choice twice. We like charms. We get a lot of charms every time we cast charms. So we're going to... We're gonna cast that twice. So that's, I'm just gonna, so it's one, three, six, and then one, six charms and one VP each time. So I get 12 and two VP. So how many is the blue worth? 10. Oh, so that many. So then I get this and I keep one. Okay. That's a lot of You charms. can math good. Yeah. And right, so now we are on this one. Yes, yes my new pile of cards. Uh, oh, this would be your new pile of cards. Don't take my nice things, potentially. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I am not a fan. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, Lord. I'm going to... I guess I'm casting again. I'm, I'm casting as well. Gain a charm. I don't have the potions thing. Two charms at a VP. And then the other one is Herbology, which gives me three herbs. Nope. Can one of you fine individuals give me a five, please, for Herbology? Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> I have the tiny. you turn those into... I could do that as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to start expending my blood. So I'm going to pay six blood to get elixir of memory. So I have draught of memory. Now I have elixir of memory. Oh, lordy. We've got all the memories going. Oh, lordy. Aren't memories great? So here you go. Okay. Um, are, you, are you done fiddling, Jer? No. You're not done fiddling? Would you stop fiddling? We don't like when you fiddle. Makes us nervous. Like Makes us nervous. We also don't like when you have nice things, because it means we have less nice things. And that's not nice. I'm cool with having the nice things I have, if I'm being honest. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Gain one blood. Gain one potion, and then I have more than three on my discard, so I get one. Wait, how are you? Casting all those things? Huh? Oh, yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, what are you Put doing? Back. Put that back. I'm good. <laughs> are good you back. good? Yeah, I don't know. I was looking at that while did, I was casting. Did the wine go to your head? Listen, Josh. Buddy. I'm Elaine, actually, so um, I think Yeah, it this did. is yours. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this is gone. Oh. Oh, interesting. Well, this turn. I certainly am casting. I too am casting. I gain a potion. Then spend four orbs and gain five gold. I have to spend three herbs to get this gold. I'm here. casting. So, potion first. So I gain one potion. Then I gain two potions and two VP. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. So I have more than seven is what, what that is. So I gain... Wait, did I already give myself two potions? You just... You said it out loud. I don't know if okay. you grabbed it. I mean, I grabbed one for this. Yes, I did. Because I I had four originally. So then yeah. one... Yeah, okay. Um, and then two VP. Uh, and then I gained three VP. Because I also have seven or more cards in my Whoa. discard pile. This is my last card? Yes. Cool. Wait, so this one is the one you gave me? No. This is mine. This one's yours. That one's hers. Right. Okay. And I am going to be casting this turn. I too shall cast. I too shall cast. Oh, shoot. So, charms. casting. We're casting the bottom of each one. So, oh man, I kind of messed myself 
up two charms for that. Me two. That. Then I'm getting three victory points because of. So that means I would be going to ten and then that. So I'm at twelve there. I'm then triggering this one, which trades two resources for two resources of. Wait, ten. I don't know if I want to get rid of that, though. I'm also going to cast, but I'm going to wait for you to finish so I can also say my turn, because I feel like that's the fun of it. I'm going to... How much did you final score? Trigger this one. Yeah. So I'm going to pay the two resources from Charmed to get myself two blood, and I get to activate another card. And I am going to choose to activate... this card. So that gives me, gets rid of two, I'm going to take the two blood and I'm going to take the three charms and I'm going to turn them into four gold. So all of them except for one. Then I go to this one so I get a victory point. No. And I go to this one so I get to trigger it again and I'm going to trigger five herbs going to there. You did that converted much more simply than I did. Okay. Same thing. Um, I just did it more complicated because I can. So once again, I gained six charms and one VP. So I'm going to do bang, bang. Oh, and this trigger, sorry. Oh, no. I don't get six charms this time, right? Because it's only the bottom. So I get three charms. So I'm going to take two away. Give myself a, a big one. That goes back. Biggin. And then one victory point. Uh, I gain one herb. Uh, I spend one resource to gain one... Oh, no. This one. So I get seven blood. Cool. It'd be what it be. I gain three victory points. So one, two, three. And then... Um, I spend one resource to get one gold. Okay. Cool. So, now we are going to go to end game scoring. So, do we want to do it one at a time? Oh, wait. Oh, that's really bad. You yeah, could. you got a lot of blood. I didn't realize it was one for one for blood. I thought it was three for one. Yeah. Well, we established that at the uh, beginning of the game. Well, I don't pay attention. <laughs> okay, so, um, do you want to start, Aline? Sure, so for every three charms you get one VP, so it's like, I have six, there's another three, so I get three because I don't have enough. Oh, don't stick it together, don't do that. Same thing, another three. Uh, I gain, I lose three now. Look at me go. Then I gain one back. <laughs> <laughs> then I get twelve. So, I'm at... What? You can just slide this over, and then these two, and there's your 12. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. And then, again, 2 VP for each card under alchemy. So I'm at 19 right now, so that puts me at 28, right? I can math. Two. Wait, how many? I have four. four six, eight. So yeah. 19, 27, right? Wow. 19 plus 8. I, I can match. I so swear. So 27. I swear I can. Josh really affected me, man. It was a tough day. <laughs> the, uh, so I am going to do mine now. I have zero charms. Under herbology, I have five, I have nine, so I get three points for herbology. I have zero blood. I get nothing from my potions, but I get 13 from my gold and then I do my artifacts so this one I get two for each card under herbology so I get four <coughs> and then eight because they're four oh, cards yeah. Yeah. we can't math good here <laughs> apparently oh boy and then I get five for having a complete set so it would be Take five away but Take five away and then give yourself there we go. four. So you took four away. 
There you go. There we go. Okay. We did it. We so can math real quick. My here. total is 54. Show off. Okay. I'm uh, exactly W. Shh. I feel like I'm going to get screwed. Um, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So divided by 3, that's 9. 9. So yeah, 9 victory points. So I'm going to put the 1 back. Come on, little guy. <laughs> one back and then get one of the tens. I gain one for my herbs. I lose nine. So I'm going to do this and get one. Then I gain three, six, so that's two. Then I gain four. And then I gain eight. So that's uh, give myself this and lose two. Wait, okay. how do you gain eight? From that. Oh, uh, it's gained eight. two. Four. Four. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. So then I had. You had that. I had that. So then I gain. So put back six this, and take the and ten. Then, yeah. Three, six. There we go. They're tiny. Okay. Cool. We can math here. Yeah. Okay. We've done the math thing. So we totaled out with me with 54, in second place Phil with 32, and in third place Elaine with 27, right? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Now, how do we think that game went? Um, I think I, I think I played it poorly at the end because I should have thought about like needing to cast on the last turn more than I did. So I should have, like, put something else in the blood that was, like, less... <laughs> giving me much less blood than <laughs> seven. Because um, I didn't realize that... I mean, I literally lost seven points there. Not that that would have meant I won, but it would have... Uh, it would have helped. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think, I think playing with this is fun because it's like fire. Like I felt like I consistently had resources to do the other things. Yeah. Um, at the end, I could just pay basically any random resource with my blood. Like that's what I was going for, just trying to whittle it down. Um, but it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, I think what happened is, is you, uh, it was unlucky that I was the one who got the hand that had the card you needed. Um, because if Elaine had gotten it, I don't think she would have bitten the bullet and gotten rid of it. And you probably would have gotten that card. And if you had drawn it, obviously you would have taken that card. Yeah. But I, I, I saw your engine building up, and I couldn't give you essentially an infinite pool of, of gold yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. I had the opposite problem with Phil. Like, I bought some cards early on that would give me, like, points based off, like, cards, but I never got the cards I needed to yeah. get. And then I had no resources. I'm like, well, I guess I'm casting again because I have no resources to buy things. Well, this is exciting. And then I just got screwed over because I got resources I couldn't convert yeah. because I had all this other stuff on alchemy. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I went after herbology, which is this is my third game in a row where I've gone after herbology. No, um, you don't say. I mean, it's on its own. It's not like amazing, amazing. But I ended up with ones that give me victory points on a repeated basis. So. I was getting a repeat. I was getting victory points from this potion card. I was getting victory points from these, and then I got this one towards the end, which allowed me to trigger this to get an additional one. And then this really helped. Which this is the one I pulled out of your graveyard. Yeah. Um, and then this one, I happened to get the one that was for herbology, which was the best one I could have gotten because it's the only one I had. That's the only one I had multiple cards in. Jeremy has the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards. We do not film. Sorry. Nah, that's fine. I actually. <laughs> fine. I mean, I. Um, I think I just didn't play the last round that well. Like I said, I could have probably done something here um, mm. in anticipation of the last round because charm was really like my huge engine. Like I got, I got a lot of charm. You got nine points off of charm, which yeah. is a lot, yeah. especially since it's a three to one conversion. It's a lot. The um, what you needed was a charm to gold converting card, which they have in there. Like if you have four charms, you turn it into five gold or something like that. Yeah. That that would have been, been really good. Yeah. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of luck that goes into it, but I was looking at your board going into like towards the end and I was like, oh, you got a really good like engine going there. Yeah. It but, was just about balancing like the danger of ending up with a lot of blood. 
because I, I also didn't, I thought it was a three for one conversion. So I'm like, oh, okay, like I do get seven blood points, but that only translates to like two and a half. Yeah, ish. that's the that's the danger of yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Not looking you can kind of years. you can kind of forget. Yeah. But overall, what are your thoughts on the game? Since this is your first time playing it, it was fun. I um I liked. I mean, I'm a sucker for drafts, so anything that resembles like building things up over time uh, is fun to me. And I really like the idea of just like building an engine out. I wish I kind of like knew cards that I could hope to anticipate in later rounds which obviously if i play again i will um but just kind of like even rolling with the punches was was pretty fun yeah what, what were your what are your final th- this is your third time playing the game right yeah i learned the first time i played that the blood arts aren't really the way to go Yeah, because you went blood the first time i went very heavy blood the first time and i don't see how the negative aspects of the blood really pay off in the long run like i just don't feel like the ratio works out it definitely is not um as op as a lot of other negative resources because like if you look at something like lords of waterdeep that has the negative um what's it the corruption the corruption if you're willing to take corruption you're getting huge bonuses for taking corruption but in this you're not getting you're getting very subtle bonuses but you use it for what phil was trying to use it for where he was using it to fuel resources yeah, I was basically like at the end, every almost everything I paid for was in blood. Yeah, um, which felt, which kind of fit the vibe, you know. But it's um, definitely it's definitely more of a, a subtle positive trade off than something else where you're immediately getting a huge payoff for taking the negative. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think probably um, blood arts and alchemy, like going hard into those, like having more than two cards, is probably dangerous. Um, like looking at us, I mean, I only had two, but my one card was like, have all the blood you want. Um, so, yeah. So like going too hard into either of those are tough because they're a negative and a conversion. So like you need resources to fuel either, or like you need reasons to go negative or to, you know, have things to convert for. Mm. And, um, like Charm, herbology, and potions seemed like things where, well, maybe charm and herbology, because potions seemed very dependent on, like, board state or discard piles or other things. Um, but these two seem like you can just pump them. Yeah. Like you did. I mean, you yeah. pumped herbology. Yeah. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and this is with me using herbology as my sole payment towards the end for, like, the entire last round. Yeah. And I just didn't have enough resources to take advantage of my alchemy. That was that. If was you had bad. gotten a couple of cards though in there, you could have um, you could have you had a good engine building. Well, I mean, I had like spend three blood, gain two gold. Spend three portions, gain three gold. Spend two charms, gain two gold, which was really the only one I could do. But then I had to spend four herbs, gain five gold. I got greedy, mm-hmm. and it got me the points. But I often had more charm than than herbs days. Yeah. See, if I had that blood one, ooh, I'd be wealthy. Yeah, I could not. I could <laughs> not let you boy. have that. Yeah. I mean, I literally tanked a turn so you couldn't get it because, like, I it was it was two things. It was like potions and alchemy, and at the time, I didn't even have anything in alchemy. It was like literally, yeah. I'm tanking a turn to not yeah. give you this card uh, because it would have. I mean, you could have ran away with it. Yeah, would have been fun. But <laughs> he wanted to crush you, and it just didn't work out. The, uh, the that is, that is a little bit of strategy that this game has that a lot of other deck building games don't because you're interacting with. Um, the cards that you're, the next person can, it's not like a, a Star Realms with, yeah, you're interacting with the marketplace and theoretically you could buy a card that somebody else wants, but it's still going into your deck and it's still useful to you, but in this you're literally like, okay, do I pass this card? This card Does this card come back around? It's the same stuff in Magic where you're yeah. drafting Magic. It's like, does this card back come back around to me? That, um, nobody's dr- nobody's drafting Herbology. Like, I think this card will come back to me. Like, the, um, there was the, um, the, one of the cultivation cards, um, I don't know what it is, but one of the cultivation cards, I wanted to get it. I ended up having to not, this one, I wanted to take that card and um, I needed to cast that turn. And I'm like, okay, well, does it come back around to me? It did come back around to me, by the, but by the time it came back around to me, I needed to cast again because of what was on the board. So I wasn't really able to take advantage of getting it. Yeah, I, I definitely saw a lot of similarities with like magic drafts because... Um, if you're doing at least like a physical pool or something, the understanding is like, okay, I'm passing potentially a very powerful card 
uh, that someone else will use to play against me. Yeah. Do I want that to happen? Do I, A, spite take it just so even though I can't play it, someone else can't? Uh, or do I, like, you know, some, like let's say I see a card that I could use. Do I take the chance that it wheels back around to me? Mm. And then you kind of weigh the risks there. Like, I, I definitely had those moments, too, where I'm like, oh, I kind of don't want anyone else to have this. So, like, I needed to cast this turn anywhere, or I could cast this turn, so I'm going to just dump that Discarded, card to cast yeah. it. So, yeah. I definitely saw a lot of similarities there. I mean, it's drafting. Oh, yeah. It's fun. So, do we have any final thoughts? You, you mean round two unfair. of final, final thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> round two of final thoughts? Round two of final thoughts. Um... Happy for how I did first yeah, time. Definitely. You did better than me. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. That's all I could ask for. <laughs> That's all I could ask for. Well, if you like these Let's Plays, please like the video. Let us know that you like it. Um, give some love to Phil down in the comments, that uh, our, our guest and uh, mm -hmm. frequent collaborator with a lot of our other content and fellow member of EC3, East Coast Card Crew. Yeah, and if you like uh, trading card games or card games in general, uh, right now we're, like Jeremy said in the beginning, we're big into Flesh and Blood. Uh, we're also going to be testing out the waters with a few other card games coming up, um, some digital, some physical, so... Uh, stay tuned. Feel free to jump in on a Filzy Media stream. That's going to be twitch.tv slash Filzy Media, F-I-L-Z-M-E-D-I-A. Uh, we do literally tons of things on there. So but Definitely variety stream. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll <laughs> exactly. catch some, some flesh and blood, some card game content, exactly. and probably some board game content going forward. Yeah, so, um, so feel free to check that out. and uh, yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you know what's up. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.